it going y'all? Rowdy Riles back with another video. Some more DC Multiverse today. We got Batman Beyond, my favorite Batman, not Bruce Wayne, Terry McGinnis, the real Batman. Um, I got him from Big Bad Toy Store. They FedEx lost the first one, so they shipped the new one, and here he is, just in time for my birthday, which is on December 23rd. With all of that being said, let's take a closer look at the box, and then we'll get this bad boy open. <clears throat> was that good? Here is the box, DC Multiverse, Batman Beyond, same thing we're always used to with these boxes, very plain, 12 plus, I'm old enough, I'm about to be 31, DC Multiverse, Batman Beyond, there is the back with the rest in the way of a bunch of Batman Beyond characters down there, probably only gonna get Terry here because I like Terry. Other side, Batman Beyond once again, DC Multiverse, and there is the front of the box one more time closer look you can see all the accessories in there the boosters for his boots all that good stuff battering with all of that being said let's get this bad boy open you all know I generally just tear right into these don't give a crap about the boxes but because it's my favorite Batman we're gonna be a little bit more careful today we're gonna cut that on the bottom there hopefully not mess up the box there we go and you just pull the cab out, pull out the cardboard, maybe, and there is Terry out of his cardboard prison, one step closer to being on my shelf. And here is our brand new Batman Beyond, Terry McGinnis, out of the box. Flying into battle, looking great. Uh, I'm really happy with him. He's nice and skinny, just like Terry was in the show and comics. So that's great. He looks awesome. I can't wait to put him on my shelf and get him in all different kinds of poses. So close to look at the detail. You see that red bat symbol, the red on the belt, which isn't accurate to the show, but that's okay. It's more based on the comic. He's got his wings, all that good stuff. Yeah, he's really cool. I'm happy with him. Taking a look at the accessories, the first thing that comes with Terry is this flight stand from McFarlane. You can see he's got a pick for his foot, DC, and that just slots in there so you can have him zooming around in the future, 2039, 2040, whenever it is. Then he's got to add to the flying boosters for both of his feet so he can just blast off and fly around like I just said. Then we always are used to this with McFarlane. We got the card with the nice artwork of the figure actually not not even a drawing just the figure itself. Real name Terrence Terry McGinnis six feet 198 pounds. Terry McGinnis was just an ordinary teenager until his father was mysteriously killed. Suspecting foul play, Terry meets an older, bitter Bruce Wayne and learns a secret hidden for decades. When Bruce refuses to help, Terry steals and dons a high-tech, tricked-out bat suit in a quest to avenge his father's death as Batman. We remember that from the show, DC Multiverse. They got a whole stack of those cards. He also comes with a single red battering, so that's kind of thick, kind of chunky, but oops, I dropped it. Fits in his hand, probably. I haven't tried it yet. Speaking of hands, you can see he's got two hands on. And he also comes with two alternate hands, a gripping hand and an open, I'm gonna cut your face with my claws hand, just like in the show. So those are cool. Lots of accessories come with him this time. Not used to seeing a bunch with DC Multiverse, but he came pretty stacked. Also, I checked and the wings do come out. I just don't wanna pull them out because I don't know if he'll be able to get back in. It leaves a big old hole in his back too. So don't really wanna do that. Going over the articulation, the first thing we have is a ball peg on the head. He's actually kind of limited. He can look down pretty far. He can't look back too far, which is a shame because you know he likes to fly around. This Batman flies. He don't glide. He flies. We've got a um, hinge at the shoulder, butterfly joint in there, so he can go a little bit over 90 degrees. Um, double elbows. He can go in pretty far with those. Hmm. Just thinking. Ab crunch on a ball peg. Waist swivel. Legs come out pretty dang far. You can see that joint right there, the ball peg joint. Uh, double knees. Can kick his own butt despite the wings. They're in the way. I know he can do it. Um, no cut on the leg or the calf, any of that stuff. No boot cut. 
but we do have rockers down here and toe articulation as McFarlane likes to do. There's actually some nice detail on the bottom of the foot, so that's really cool. And then coming up once again, we've just got a hand that sits on a ball peg. So kind of limited on there, but also a little bit, eh, not really a lot of movement side to side. Up down, there's a little bit, but it's just, like I said, just a ball with a peg on it. And then we'll take a closer look at his face. I saw the other Batman Beyond in stores, but I wanted this one with the mouth because that's what he's supposed to look like, in my opinion. Nice shiny bat symbol. First up for scale and comparison, we've got another version of Batman Beyond, DC Collectibles. You can see it's Bruce Wayne from that physique. Um, he broke right out of the box, so he's got some glue and some paint on him to fix that. But uh, there's these two together. There's our new McFarlane Multiverse Batman Beyond. Um, so yeah, he's definitely my favorite Batman. As you can see, I've got more than one of him. And here is, I believe, another DC Collectibles Batman Beyond with his unmasked Terry McGinnis head. He's holding his mask right there. And that head does fit on this one, but the ball peg is kind of loose, which is weird because the Bruce Wayne head that came with this one fits on him really well. And it's the same, it's the same figure. It should fit on, but this one's really loose. But uh, yeah, like I said, he's my favorite Batman. I've got a bunch of different versions of him. This McFarlane one is the best one. It's perfect. You know, this isn't accurate to the show, but like I said, it's comic book version, so that's okay. I love how he looks. He's so live and, and fit and ready to kick some future bad guy butt. And there's that head swap. Like I said, it's really loose. It doesn't come down far enough, so the neck is a little long. But I really wish it worked out because it's a pretty okay Terry head. Ooh, exorcist. Ooh. But just look how well that Bruce Wayne head fits. There's no gap. It just fits on there. I mean, it's a little bit of gap. But it fits on there. It's really weird. I don't understand it. It doesn't work for this body, but... Next up for scale and comparison, we've got more DC McFarlane multiverse. Here is Terry's dad slash genetic donor slash mentor, Batman, with Terry ready to claw some bad guys up. They look cool together. Bruce and Terry back at it again. It's the first Batman that McFarlane released, by the way. Not the best one, but I like him. He's my Justice League Batman for my shelf. And here is Terry taking flight with our DC McFarlane multiverse Superman. They look cool together. You know, he's still around in the show. A little bit older, but Superman doesn't age like normal people. So you could kind of fudge it and have him there if you wanted. Just add some gray to his temples. But they look great flying together. So awesome having Batman on. I love him. It's waiting for McFarlane for so long to release him. And then it took so long for him to get here. Oh my goodness. Well worth the wait though. So with all of that being said, I will say Batman Beyond is totally worth it because he was totally worth it to me. Awesome to add him to the shelf. I'm super excited to have him in my collection. Um, and if you guys like this video and this figure and anything about the video, go ahead and give it a like down below. We always need those. Go ahead and subscribe. We definitely need those. And give me a comment. Let me know what you want to see from DC McFarlane Multiverse in the future. They recently announced Zod, Martian Manhunter, Aquaman. So they are finally starting to fill out that normal Justice League instead of just Batman and Superman all the time. But I would call Batman Beyond the exception to that because I love him. He's great. Yeah. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.